what's going on YouTube? It's me, Jeffrey, again. Today we're doing yet another creepypasta, and I think this creepypasta might be part of the Lost Episodes creepypasta genre. I don't know. But aside the point, it's a My Little Pony creepypasta. The creepypasta we're doing is Fluttershy's Lullaby. Not to get confused with the actual song in the show. So let's just get to it, shall we? Ah, My Little Pony. What is there to say about it? It's a kind, funny, and colorful show, but there is this one character in the show that scarred me for life. It was Friday night, school had just let out for the summer, and my parents were on their second honeymoon. So I was alone at home for a week. It was 8 p.m. And I was just getting done watching Adventure Time when my power went out for a little while. About 30 minutes later, I just sat there. Like, I just played on my Nintendo 3DS for a little bit when the power came back on. I was still a little mad that I had missed the new Annoying Orange episode, but I still had it recorded on my DVR box, so I went to watch it. When right above it, there was another show. It was My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. I checked the description to see what episode it was about the description. It said that the episode was one where Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweet Bell spend the night at Fluttershy's cottage, but sun went off. It is said to have aired at 8pm when the power went out. I shrugged it off and clicked play on the sh show begins, and I was filled with joy. The recording starts with the commercial saying, Go away. But I ignored it and continued to watch the episode. The show ran normally up until the part where Fluttershy offered to watch the Phillies for a rarity when I noticed that Apple Bloom was muttering something. I went back to see what she was saying, only to hear, No, please. Oh god, no. I didn't think much of it, so I just continued on further into the show to see that everything was normal, and fine till yet again. I heard yet another murmur, this time is from Rarity. She was just leaving when I heard her say, Yes, I'm finally rid of her forever. I was beginning to wonder if I was even watching an actual episode of MLP, so I checked the description one more time, but this time it only said Fluttershy's Lullaby and You're Too Late. My face began became pale and I felt a cold shiver going down my spine. I tried to stop the recording, but I could not do it. I unplugged the TV, but it was still on. I just sat down to see the Phillies get ready for bed. When Fluttershy said, How about I sing you a lollipop? The Phillies nodded and the song started. Hush now. The screen flashed a dead body of a young child with a red bow in her hair. It was Apple Bloom as a human, but she had her throat slit and her eyes pulled out. I couldn't look, but the song that Song carried on. Quite now. Bang. A gunshot went off, and with it, another dead body of another female character that looked like Skulu. A brown haired, skinny girl with tired treads all over her body, and six bullet holes to wear on her from head to toe. I almost fainted at the sight, and that's when she continued the song. It's time to lay your fleshy heads. And with a loud scream filled the room. It was Sweetie Belle being gutted and killed by someone that's... When the scream flashed back to normal only to see the three fillies in a pool of blood. And Fluttershy is singing the last part of the song when she turns her head to the screen. Hush now, quiet now, your parents are dead. Then one last gruesome image appeared on the TV. It was my parents. They were in the corner, 
decapitated. Their hearts were ripped out with two words written in blood under them, saying, Goodbye, son. I began to cry when Fluttershy said in a demented voice, Don't cry. You are next after all. And then she began to giggle till the credits appeared only to say goodbye. And the TV turned off. I got up to go to bed when my friend called me to tell me my parents are dead and that they were murdered. He also told me I was going to be sent to a foster home in a week. He then hung up and I went upstairs to my room and went to bed. A week later, I was sent to the foster home and then shown to my room only to find a bed, a shelf, and a dresser with one other thing. A box with my name on it. I opened it and I found a demented Fluttershy toy covered in blood with a note that said, See you soon. I then knew I was next. Holy crap! That, that was a pretty strange and dark ending, okay? Like, aside from blood cliches, the thing I just didn't understand was, like, the thing that kind of confused me is after it showed the deaths of the Phillies in this so-called lost episode, why did it show that the parents were killed as well? Like, why did the lost episode become reality? And explain the ending, okay? Like, like why did the ending have an actual Fluttershy toy covered with blood and a note saying, see you soon? Like, why the heck does the, unquote, toy of said character covered in blood remind me of Sonic.exe? Like, the actual story of Sonic.exe. Like, that... That's cliche as hell. Like, now, the only good thing I I do remember liking was if you go back up, like, it shows some normal quotes, like the how about I sing you a lullaby a lullaby phrase to the, like, to the Phillies. As well as the beginning part, like, the beginning two quotes, Hush Now and Quiet Now, that was looking good. Until the time to lay your fleshy heads. Like, what the hell? Like, that doesn't make sense. Why it's on turn from cute to absolutely horrific, like, within minute, a minute. Like, why? I know you are just saying it's just like, it's just a creepypasta. And I assure you that's true, but... Well, if this was real. But I digress. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this creepypasta. And if you're ever wondering on where I got the Fluttershy, like, of uh, voice lines for this video, um, I actually found a website, like, that it... It's called, I think, 15.ai. Now, um, I know most of you are not, like, into this artificial intelligence stuff, but for some reason there was a Fluttershy one, so I typed in the quotes that were said in the story, so... I don't know, I just wanted some realism in this story, unlike the majority of my other creepypasta ratings. So I'm sorry if, like, some of the quotes that the... the... The Fluttershy AI voice said were a bit strange or cliched. Like, you you can't blame it. It's just a artificial intelligence of an actual character from a TV show. So, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to comment on what you think would make this creepy pasta better. This is Jeffrey Sambrowski, and I am out.